it's funny, you know, last night I was, I was hitting balls, finished up with my seven iron, and I remember when I was done, I took that seven iron out, and I put it in my staff bag, my teaching bag. First of all, the seven iron. There it is, right? So I sure enough did leave that in the teaching bag, and, uh, and sure enough, I picked up my bag this morning, my golf clubs, and the bag felt a little bit light. So going without a seven iron today, and uh, again, looking just to have a good time, have fun. I'm going to be very, very judicious with use of the three wood. I'll even, uh, I'll even hit hybrid probably a couple times to be short rather than, you know, risk hitting a club I'm not really trusting right now. So looking forward to having some fun today. I just haven't really been able to devote any sort of a plan to practice and um, man it was frustrating I almost filmed myself during the round because it was I was frustrated in a way that I thought would come across on camera that I just can't I can't come across that way now um, it was one of those days where it seemed like it wasn't I wasn't that bad but it just seems like I never got a good thing to happen for me. Of course. Good. So I'm sneaking up on you, Ralph. I'm sneaking up. <laughs> ultimate concentration. All right, so. Ultimate concentration. I didn't ask you about being on camera, but you're on the camera, all right? It's not live or anything. That's fine. Share with me what you're talking about with that pump drill. Oh, okay. Let me do it and with a teeth. Don't, and you don't have to hit a shot or anything, but just. Well, the idea is just basically the same swing, and you just pump it. Don't hit the ball, pump two, three times, and go. The thing I'm look, the thing I'm trying to accomplish is I want my lower body to move first and right. then work up. Right. That's what I'm trying to accomplish. Right. I'm looking for make sure my body starts first and not my upper arms. I'm trying to keep from going over the top. That is my objective. Okay. So let's. All right. So it's heavy, but I can see your divot looked pretty good. Right? Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Right? Let's now, something else. Bring that over here closer, please. Let's do it again. Okay, so now wait. Before you do that sure. again. Sure. All right. So, Ralph recently retired. Yeah. Correct. And before he retired, he was a little negative on his golf ability. Would you agree with that? I agree. Yeah. And he was... I think I knew you could be better than you thought you could be. True. Right? Yes. Yeah. So, what was it, about three months ago you came up to me and told me about a round at RGA? Things finally came together one day. Uh, one of my trips to RGA, playing in the Kerry Seniors Golf Association, and uh, came together. It just flat out came together. Uh, that particular day, I reached the uh, second hole on the public side of RGA in two for my very first eagle. And wow. Went on. Went on to that day, shot, uh, I believe it was 37 on the sock holders and the 39 on the the uh, public side of the front nine. And what was the what, what was the big difference from shooting in the 90s to shooting in the 70s? Uh, this particular situation, I was playing shorter tees, and also uh, my shots were, uh, my second shots were anywhere from 80 to 90 to 100 yards in which uh, I'm going to put in another plug for you, Mike. <laughs> we had a lesson. I believe it was either right before I retired or right after I retired. And we worked on working in the sand. And uh, one of the very most important shots that I started using at that time was basically a short half shot with my either my gap wedge, my 9, 8, and a pitcher wedge. You know, so there it is. This is a guy who's playing better golf than he... He's playing better golf than he really ever thought he was going to. And I'm trying to play golf that... Just that I used to be able to play. But I'm not I'm not putting in the time. So i got to figure out a way to put in the time. Look at that guy back there. I mean... I, I believe he's here 20 hours a week practicing. And there's just no substitute for practice got to find a way to work on, on any skill if you're going to be good at it. Saturday morning. Are you excited about going to work on Saturday, Lucy? Huh? Down game. 
So we need to create some teams, all right? So the teams are gonna be, should we put the brother and sister on the same team or different teams? Really? Different teams. Nope. I, gotta, I gotta figure out something with the, with the echo. It just seems like the echo in this building, usually when we do the instructional videos, I've got, a, I've got like a little wireless mic and it, it works out pretty good, pretty well I should say. It's a like a lab mic, but the, uh, the mic, this, we have a shotgun mic up here and the echo just kills things. So 